So now, how does the nervous system tissue causes action? We have discussed the importance, the working, functioning of the nervous system. The nervous system, it gives an order to the muscles. The muscles, they create a movement. But how this movement is created? So you have to fold your hand like this. That means your muscles, they have, they are to be contracted here in your triceps and biceps. Contraction and relaxations make you to stretch, open your hand and take in your hand. That means the muscles, they are to be contracted and relaxed. How this happens? What is the link between the nervous system and that muscle contraction relaxation? How the muscle is able to contract and relax like that? See, when some command is given from your nervous system, from your brain to your hand, that means the muscle of your hand, your muscle is made up of muscle fiber. So first the electrical impulse, the information in the form of electrical impulse reaches the muscle fiber. It reaches the muscle fiber. So what happens in the muscle fiber? Now the shape of the muscle fiber has to be changed. So the electrical impulse, it has to create a change in the shape of muscle fiber. How it happens? And the muscle fiber is made up of muscle proteins. So the muscle proteins are the special molecules which can change their shape and arrangement. Their arrangement they can change, their shape also they can change. So that is the ability of the proteins present in the muscle, muscle proteins. So when there is an electrical impulse reaching the muscle fiber, the muscle proteins present in the muscle fiber, they change their arrangement as well as their shape. So by that, the muscle is shortened or stretched, relaxed or contracted. Because the molecules in the muscle, the protein molecules in the muscle, they change their shape or arrangement because of the electrical impulse. So when the muscle is shortened, the hand stretched in. So in this way, the muscle shape changes by contraction and relaxation. So by that you can create a movement. In this way, the nervous tissue, it can cause action. That means it can cause movements in our body parts. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.